Today, I will read you Henry and Mudge Get the Cold Shivers. The sick day. Henry's big dog, Mudge, loved Henry six days. When Henry had a sore throat or a fever or a back cough, he stayed home from school and bed. In the morning, Henry's mother brought him orange popsicles, comic books, and crackers. Mudge got the crackers. In the evening, Henry's father brought him grape popsicles comic books, and crackers. Must got the crackers again. Must love six days. Six days. But even though he loved Henry six, day, six days, no one ever thought that Mush could get sick. No one ever thought that Mush could catch germs, but he could. And one day, he catched a lot of them. When Henry woke up and jumped out of bed, Mush didn't move. He didn't get up. He didn't lick Henry's face. He didn't shake Henry's hand. And he always shook Henry's hand in the morning. He just looked at Henry and wagged his tail a little. Henry and Henry's mother looked at Mudge and worried. Something is wrong, said Henry. His mother nodded her head. Mush must, must be six, said Henry. His mother nodded her head again. Mush, said Henry. I was just wanting some crackers. But Mush didn't want crackers, which was sick. And he didn't even read comic books. The vet. Henry's, Henry and Henry's mother tried to put Mush in the car to go to the doctor. But Mush was tired. He didn't want to go. Hop on, Mush, said Henry. Mush sat down on Henry's foot. Hop on, Mudge, Henry said again. Mush yawned and drove on Henry's hands. Bath time, Mudge, Henry said. And Mush hopped right in the car. They drove to the vet. Mush knew the vet and he didn't want to see her. She made him nervous. When they walked into the waiting room, Mush started to shiver and shed. He did this he did this every time he went to the vet. He shivered and shed. He always left a bunch of dog hair on the floor. When it was his turn to see the vet, Henry and Henry's mother had to pull him like a horse into the room. Hi, Mud, said the vet. Mud shivered. Bad day, Mud, said the vet. Mud said. He's losing all his hair, said Henry. I know, said the vet. I'd better hurry, or he may be glad before you can get him home. Henry's mother laughed. But Henry did, couldn't, couldn't laugh. He was too worried. He was too scared. The vet looked at Mush with eyes. Oh, my eyes. She listened to Mush shivering chest. She felt Mush shedding smooch. Boom. My eyes. Boom. Then she rubbed Mush's big head. I need to check a few things, she told Henry. Can you wait outside? Henry wanted to say no. He wanted 
he wanted to say no way. But Henry said, all right. He went back to the waiting room with his mother. He sat and wondered if, wondered if Mush knew how to say ah. He wondered if Mush could be okay. A big kiss. Your dog has a cold, the vet told Henry. A cold? said Henry. I think so, said the vet. He has a fever. His throat is red. He is very tired. And he keeps asking me, asking me for some comic books. This time, Henry could laugh. He has to let him rest, said the vet. Vet. Henry nodded and gave him some medicine. Henry nodded again. And don't kiss him until he's better. The vet said. Henry frowned. Oh, he said. When Henry and Henry's mother and Mush got home, Henry fixed a sick bed for Mush in the living room. It had Henry's old blanket on his Rise of Henry's dirty socks and Henry's baseball mitt and Henry's pillow and Henry's stuffed moose. The next morning, Henry brought Mush some ice cubes, a rubber hamburger, and crackers. Henry got all the crackers. In the evening, Henry brought Mush some ice cubes, a rubber hot dog, and crackers. Henry got the crackers again, but the next day Mush get, ate all of the crackers. His six days were over, and Henry gave him a great big kiss. I re I read you ready to read level two. Henry and Mush get the cold shivers. I'm gonna read you another book next time. Bye.